Prior to that, the Russian had been one of the most outspoken opponents of the WTA's legislation forbidding underage players from competing full-time on tour. It's difficult to choose the events, because I can only play in 13. I try to play in the biggest, to play the Grand Slams and various tournaments leading up to them. Basically all of the biggest first-class events. That's all that I can participate in this year. But next year, I can finally graduate to higher things. As a Nick Volatieri graduate, Kurnikova has been raised in an extremely competitive environment. Actually, ever since she started playing, aged five, Anna has thrived on match play. I play many, maybe 100. 100? Many tournaments in Moscow. In general, I moved away from the other children and played a lot of games and was constantly under match conditions. That really helped me further my game in tournaments, simply to play more and more matches. And so far on the big stage, Anna has shown glimpses of her vast potential. Although her inexperience cost her dearly against Hingis at Roland Garros and here against Amanda Kurtzer in Melbourne. For now, Hingis reigns supreme. Although other claimants to the throne exist of Spanish, Yugoslav, German and Croatian extraction, there is little doubt that in the near future her two main rivals will be a Russian and an American. And only then will we know whose upbringing has made them the stronger challenger. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.